Hello everyone, I'm Devin Gupta and welcome to another knowledge sharing session of Live Labs with Devin. Today on the show, we are going to cover a very important aspect of technology, which is data security. We will talk about data masking and subsetting on this show. Also, the Live Labs associated with security, data masking, and subsetting. So, let's get going. So, what is data masking? Well, data masking is the process of replacing sensitive information copied from production databases to test non-production databases with realistic but scrubbed data based on masking rules. Data masking is ideal for virtually any situation when confidential or regulated data needs to be shared with non-production users. Well, we need to know more about data masking and subsetting. Let's talk to my colleague and master principal architect at Oracle, Rene Fonsha. Hey, Rene, how are you doing, my friend? Hey, baby, good to see you, man. Still around, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm still around. <laughs> hey, you know, I know that you are a master principal architect at Oracle, and you know a lot about security. And I need you, need some help from you, you know. I, I'm doing, I need to understand about data masking, data subsetting. It's an industry buzzword. So can you help my audience understand what is data masking? What is data subsetting? What's the difference? I'm so confused. I mean, you came to the right source. So um, it's, it's, I mean, when people look at the two terms, they always sometimes get confused. What is data masking? What is data subsetting? So these are features of, the enterprise manager solution, which is the enterprise-wide system management and monitoring solution provided by Oracle. And mm -hmm. the main goal of those two solutions is actually two, but we should work in tandem together, right? We work very well together, is to minimize data breaches, the risk of data breaches to, to our customers. So that's the main you mean, goal. You mean hacking? Of course. Right? We okay. know that data is the most important resource nowadays. I mean, all, forget about all. Right. Yeah, yes. Whether it's, you know, you know personal, you know, info, like PI info, or security data, or, you know, financial, you know, health, all of that, that's very, very valuable. And people are ready to, you know, really break the bank, so to speak, or, you know, um, really do some damage, serious damage to corporations just to get that data. So how do you protect so, yourself? So you're saying this is a must thing for, you know, our customers who really care about their data, you know, from a security standpoint, right? Absolutely. So if we get, we, we dissect those two, right? So what is masking? So masking is re really that process whereby we will, you know, replace sensitive data with similar data. So, so something really just, you know, uh, similar to the same data that was in there to allow uh, not you know applications in a downstream environment like you know test stage and all those areas uh, to still function without any mm -hmm. any uh, you know without breaking I mean function but with data sense you know uh, data that's similar but pretty much you know fake kind of fake data so to speak right so that there is no risk to you know data breaches now subsetting what is subsetting subsetting this is the process where uh, instead of getting the whole data set that you have in production you actually take a slice of that data, which is still, uh, you know, structurally sound, just like you have in production, and take that in a downstream environment, could be for analysis, could be for search, and, you know, uh, things of that nature. So those are the two, you know, two pillars uh, to data protection that we have uh, as the solution to uh, the product. Nice. And what are the key benefits of data masking and the features? So the key benefit, so when you look at data, data, data masking, for instance, right? So um, the benefits are really, um, there are plenty of benefits out there. So you look at something like, again, replacing sensitive data with, you know, fictitious, but realistic, very realistic data uh, that remain useful for analytics. Um, mm -hmm. You look at preserving data in 
you want to make sure that even if you're replacing it, it's still, you still have that data in the grid so that the application will continue to function with the mass data. Uh, you're also looking at having a comprehensive solution uh, that will also, um, you know, help like package applications. Let's say you have Oracle eBusiness. I'm, I'm going to take, you know, an example of those applications that we know very well, or it's people saw, or Siba, or whatever, you know, enterprise package application. So we have tailored solution that will help you kind of mask that data and be able to have that agile development process, you know, and support and all that without even employees within the company having access to that sensitive information if they don't have to. And so that's key. Now, when you look at data subsetting, right, which is a, you know, still, you know, a companion to masking, um, let's say you have a corporation, we have a, a, a warrant for, you know, to pull out some, some info from, from production because of some compliance or some research, you only get that subset of the data that's needed, right? Uh, another, another example would be, um, you know, a case where um, you need to test data in downstream environment, stage, UAT, test. Instead of taking the whole set of data from production, you actually take a subset of that data that you need, just that subset, and, you know, take it to the downstream environment for testing. And oh, nice. And all that. Right, and then again, you can couple that with masking, so that that subset of data that is taking out of production, you mask the social security numbers, credit card numbers, uh, data of birth, all of that. You can mask even the name, you know. And we have, you know, uh, the solution in place to really mask that with like comparable data that's going to just look like what you have in production. So wow. That's the key. That's some high-end technology. Rene, thank you for sharing this information. You know, I'm gonna reach out to you for a lot more things, man. You are the guru, but thank you for helping me on live laps. Anytime you know, I'm always here. Hey, Ed, before hey, you leave, you before you go, buddy, I need to check one more thing with you. Is there a live lab available for data masking and subsetting? Of course, of course. It is? And as you know, I mean, if I didn't mention this from the beginning, sorry for all that. Live Lab, as you know, all free. You know, anybody, anywhere in the world can try out, you know, these Live Labs. Uh, just go to uh, developer.oracle.com slash Live Labs. And we have tons of, you know, workshops there, free of charge, no credit card needed. And you can run at any time, days, nights, it's wide open. I will share this live lab information at the end of this video. Thank you, Renee. Thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. A great way to learn about data masking and subsetting is by leveraging Oracle Live Labs. Just go to the URL below and sign up. Once you open the URL, you will get to a page similar to this. In the search bar, search for data masking. The search result will show you the workshop related to data masking. Click on the workshop link. It will get you to the page similar to this. To launch your workshop, simply click on the tab launch always free workshop. The estimate duration of the workshop is about one hour and 30 minutes. This is the outline and the prerequisites for the workshop. With this, we have covered data masking and subsetting. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any feedback regarding this video. Thank you.